Live at four. Let's look at the store. And boy, we don't have a lot of good stuff, I don't think. But uh, actually, this is pretty interesting right here. Let's go and take a look at some interesting stats. I spelled it wrong, but that's fine. But it looks like um, this event right here, this Covert Ops event, is more difficult and the rewards are worse. And we can see that a lot of people are just opting out from finishing it. You know, 56 are doing it, 40, 44 are, are skipping it. That's, that makes sense to me. Also, the Doom Raid, the new Doom Raid. Okay, so the controversy here is the Doom Raid is going to spread your rosters wide. And there's a very well thought out post right here saying, you know, that we will no longer have a place to put together a, a raid team PVE content with the best and we're going to be spreading thin and we're going to have to build teams and like uh, one of the things I, I was talking about is skill looks like that's going to be hard to have sustain in raids so probably going to be a night nurse rework and uh, I agree with this and I think that the the, the general consensus is, is veteran players, whaley players, big rosters are probably okay with wide but I think you know people would rather you know, have a, you know, a, a narrow roster. And I think 7.5, I guess when you get through 7.5, then you're going to move to Doom. Sure. Unpopular opinion. I like the trend of being forced into wide rosters. That's a tough sell there, man. That's a tough sell. Uh, but I clearly, I think this is for someone that, you know, has a fully developed out roster. And lastly, got a big shout out to Tana, who is in a save squad uh, protest on Reddit where he posts a meme every day until we get more save squads because right now we, we need at least 31. You know, we need at least five more. Got any more of that? Gold, training modules, G14 gear, G15 gear, T4 ability meds, ABC, SBCs, IOs, IONS, and on and on and on. Yeah, got any more of everything? Everything's a bottleneck. Let's get to the offers. My goodness. Um, I'm a little salty today. Uh, this is trash. I don't understand what they're trying to do with this here. Uh, the other, I mean, we um, gotta give a big shout out to uh, Yuletide Bringer, who, uh, well, we'll just skip down to this. Yuletide Bringer yesterday said, this is worth maybe 10 bucks tops. He did some math. He says, man, he told me he wouldn't even spend $6 on it, let alone $10. Trash. Anyway, so this is Kraken Offers. If you want to do it, go for it. I, I just don't see the value in these, these ISO eight ion offers at all none macro come on macro transactions they want to discount ions to us i can get behind that but not this uh hand sorceress <laughs> one buck for 25 shards you will literally never use her anywhere this is like i've got that scaling of six god tier zero trash i mean this is trash and uh, she's probably even one more of the optional hand characters that being said everybody keeps saying hand rework hand rework i don't know man it's not a great character i am pretty sure uh there's very little use for this character but if you want to just spend a buck and get 25 shards go for it now this right here uh there wasn't this is for cyclops and cyclops is fantastic as far as uh x-men phoenix team you know phoenix cyclops and, Col and colossus make the, the core, the three of them that are the most important on the team. The other two, somewhat interchangeable, right? Depending on what you're doing, who you're fighting, but definitely this guy. So what this orb is, is it gives a minimum of six, maximum 180, average is nine. So this is really just okay, you know, if you think about it. I mean, because, you know, wouldn't it be better to get 25 for a buck or 50 for a buck or something? It's all right. All right, into the shadow orb offer. Uh, at best, I value these orbs at $3 a piece, and that's for new character release shards. I think they're worth more as the game goes on. They're worth less, of course, but an initial offering for her, uh, $3 a piece, so this is $10 of value. Uh, I'm currently blitzing her right now, so uh, I'm trying to get her to five yellow stars, and, and you know, I wouldn't consider looking into this offer for myself personally until the end of the second blitz. Uh, let's move on. Don't like that. Okay, we talked about this offer yesterday. I don't buy purple gear. I'm done buying purple gear probably forever. Uh, if you're in the market for purple gear, my suggestion is to buy it under 10 cents a piece. So, you know, and typically you're gonna need these two pieces and not need this. And so 75 and 75 is 150, that would be a push. But uh, I still don't really recommend that. Let's move on. Exclusive orb offer? No, 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 no. Ions, 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 not ISO. Let's get out of here. 
uh, Uncanny or Bundle. I don't like these packs. Uh, because it's, they don't give very many shards and it's very random. Uh, they say give up to five, but they give a minimum, they, up to 145, they give a minimum of five each. So you could get 30 Sabertooth if you bought this. I just don't think they're a good deal. Uh, but if you need it, I guess, I don't know, I'm about to buy it. Oof. I've been using Verandius's spreadsheet and I just, um, I need a 729. My goodness, 729 more 15s. I'm going kind of an, an expensive meta route. And I know I'm probably, uh, probably should have used cheaper characters uh, that required less 15s. Like Hella requires 90. I don't know why I'm torturing myself with characters like Emma and Hella. I just kind of, uh, I'd rather upgrade characters I love rather than characters that I'm not infatuated with. I'm not really infatuated with Mordo like I am Hella. That being said, I, because I need 729 more, you know, if I want to finish up Doom right now today, uh, to, you know, that would cost me like another thousand bucks, right? Oof. Just so I can drop Doom in the arena so that my arena can clue against me and slingshot me into the 20s or the 30s. Um, hmm. They need to fix that. The slingshot mechanic in the arena is trash. It's garbage. I'm not going to even get to details what that is and how it works, but it's trash. Imagine spending all that money on Doom just to get slingshotted in the arena by arena collusion in there where only one legitimate person can beat your Doom team, yet they all work together to bounce you back 20 or 30 spots in, in two minutes. It's trash. It's a garbage arena system. Just copy what they have over there in Galaxy of Heroes. That worked. It's not a slingshot. It's not a feature or a fun mechanic. It's trash. Especially if people spend all that money to get Doom and then have other people use that against you. It's garbage. Oh boy, this is salty. I'm salty. Okay. Mega Orb Sale. Say it together with me. One, two, three, trash. Not only is this offer horrible and you should not spend more than $5 a piece on it. Uh, I, I want to say that this is a very misleading artwork. He is not in that orb. He is not in that orb. And he is not in that orb. You know, these two are. But Killmonger, War Machine, and Carnage are not in Mega Orbs. Let's move on. T1 Iron Offer. It, this is not great pricing, but I will admit that I've bought this in the past. Let's move on. Not great pricing, though. Orb Draft. Oh, okay. So we're going to spend a buck today. Let's do it. Or Red Stars of value, a buck and a half a piece. Premium Orbs, one dollar. Training Orbs, two bucks a piece. Basic Orb, sure, is uh, a buck. Uh, so let's buy this. I'm using Amazon Coins. No, no, no. I've got the wrong account. Oh, I've loaded it up on the wrong account. Well, I'm not going to do this. I I pulled up my wrong blue stacks. All right, we're not going to do that right there, but normally I will. I'll wait and I'll buy that on my uh, my Amazon account. I've got two instances of blue stacks to keep them separate. So I have a Google one and I have my Amazon one. Uh, that way, it's just better for me to do it that way. Anyways, let's go on. In endless, I'll, I'll load up my Amazon account here in a minute. On blue stacks because you can clone instances in blue stacks that's the easiest way to do it uh endless energy bundle this is only good if you're pushing for level 80. all right no more pack of shame we're not buying that anymore no need to talk about that sim blitz into that i think all of these are not great i there's just nothing here today boy nothing good today this is kind of a weird let's go over to the free to play account i don't like any of this stuff today salty gamer sometimes it happens right can't be, can't be enthusiastic every day. Today's just not that day. What can I say? Um, Hawkeye right here. Yeah, this is okay, I guess. Uh, Hawkeye, actually, Wave 1 Avengers are really good early. They are. Uh, early, mid-game. Wave 1 Avengers. Uh, some people are used to loving them late game. Actually, Wave 1 Avengers are great. Let's just go there. Uh, that's worth about a buck. And then 45 Hawkeye shards for four bucks is fine. Let's move on. All right, what's going to skip all of the duplicate offers? Okay, premium orb. Okay, so you get a premium orb. You get a five premium orbs for three bucks. And I do value premium orbs at one dollar piece, so this is fine. Yeah, that's that's a good deal. I like that. Uh, this is the old art, though. 
They used to show this because of Minerva and Yo-Yo were the, the exclusive ones now. I believe it should be Call and Yo-Yo, but Minerva has been, now she's also available in the, the War Store. Let's move on. All right, let's find out if there's any other offers. All right, X-Force Orb. Uh, so this is good if you're looking to finish off the X-Force for Doc Ock. I don't like this orb because these orbs right here give a minimum of five, maximum 145. So it's possible to pull like, spend 20 bucks and get like 30 Deadpool. Because it only shows these two, but it has the other three X-Force, which would be, you know, Cable and Deadpool and uh, I don't know. Some other person, I can't think. My brain's tired. Let's move on. Uh, Monster Hunter offer. Uh, no need to buy this. I don't think that there's any reason to buy 45 shards for 20 bucks because they don't help you get to a legendary character or anything like that. So I'd have to pass on this. Although she's okay. Also, it's got that really cool passive, which uh, bypasses uh, the misses and the dodges. Very useful against certain teams, specifically been using her against Pimtech teams with all those evades. Oh yeah, that's great. Uh, Ace Tactician offer, Rocket is a raid store character. Very hard to justify this 50 character charge for 30 bucks. Let's move on. Um, Loki, okay, I you can, this one is what I could justify though. I just went back up a bit. Right, I'm saying no, 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 no. This one I think you could justify because Loki is required for the Phoenix event that starts on Monday. He's a villain mystic controller. So if you have Loki and five other villain mystic controllers at six stars, you can lock Phoenix and five five star as guardians unlock Black Bolt. And then Black Bolt will help you unlock Ebony Ma. So this is like a kind of like a, you know, uh, Loki and Hela are important in, in progressing through the legendaries and getting the legendaries. So I do like that. Ronin is a part of that category. He is a uh, villain mystic controller, not, but he's not gonna be that useful by himself necessarily. And that's just a function of Phoenix. Let's move on. Dr. Strange, um, I, I don't see the point in buying this. It's part of the Supernatural team, which doesn't lead to anything else. Supernatural team's a good offensive war team, but I don't see the urgency behind this. Let's move on. We talked about that already. We talked about that. All right, let's keep moving on. And I think that'll do it for today. Let's see what we got here. That is it. Let me know what you think about the new Doom Raids. Uh, there was a video about that yesterday. Where are you at as far as the Doom Raids being bad or good? What are your thoughts about wide roster versus uh, being able to pick your characters? Kind of a little bit controversial. Um, I kind of like the idea of at least having one you know, the, the ultimates, you got to use your best team, right? And this is gonna kind of strip that away. So I do kind of like having at least one raid where I can do that, where the Greek raids kind of were supposed to be where it's fragmented. Let me know what you think in the comment section as always. Thanks for watching, keep on gaming.